Hello YouTubers and welcome to another video. Today we're talking about 5k prep as we have 5k erg tests coming up so we can use that as a comparison going through the season especially at the start here so we can kind of gauge how the summer off season has treated us and then use that like I said to compare as we go on. So usually in the GB system the 5k is done once a year or as a whole testing thing once a year at or in February on the ERG so we'll use this one right now in September to sort of gauge what we can do in February but now it's time to get training and get a little bit of prepping for you into the crew room post erging today. We've got Ollie Dix here. Ollie's had, definitely a hero, Ollie's had his little bit of time off or is in the time off after doing European Championships on the 23s. Nice. Absolutely. How was your, your experience on there, Ollie? Uh, yeah, it's quite warm. Yeah. Uh, out in a Greek island. Um, what was it called? Ionina. Ah, well done. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and all the racing was quite close. We start on the uh, semi by 1.33, so great uh, yeah, to see that. And what are you having for breakfast today? Uh, I was inspired by with the breaded egg toast and uh, fruit salad because health. You gotta have health. And remember, food is fuel. But after a session, you have to fuel up because food is fuel. Like I just. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do that and then chat about the session and about prepping four to five k in for other air test oh, yeah. and we've made it outside of the gym out here enjoying the lovely weather post fueling up because remember food is fuel and talking about the erg prep well we did some speed work there for in preparation for our 5k tomorrow so preparation for a 5k or any other erg test is always important to feel the rate you want to go at for the test piece itself and you want to figure out what the split you want to go at for that piece as well so getting the rate and getting the split so you know what it's going to feel like during the piece so say you set yourself a target split and a target rate and then you go out during the prep at that split and rate and then you finish the prep pieces usually they're going to be shorter depending on how long you have until the test itself it could be half the distance it could be a quarter of the distance it could be the, di the full distance itself just toned down but 
you can do the given target split and rate and then you can kind of feel out what that feels like and if it feels too hard for that shorter distance then you'll have to reassess okay maybe that split was too hard maybe that rate was too high maybe the split has to be sped up maybe it was too easy and then you're thinking okay i've got a fast one coming for this test but it is all up to you to find out what your target is you can talk to your coaches what they recommend but then it is what you feel like your split is because as always you can only control what you are doing you can't control like someone comes up to you and says okay go pull a 120 split and then obviously that is faster than any world record in the 2k or 5k so just because someone says that you might be able to do a split doesn't necessarily mean you can but obviously there's a little bit of leeway if your coach knows what your training program is and knows what you're capable of and sometimes having that little bit of oh that split seems a bit hard but the confidence in your coach giving you that advice and giving you that backing could be that little bit of an extra push that you need to get that pb but today my target tomorrow is to go around 16 10 for a 5k maybe a little bit faster so today i went out at about 137 and saw how that felt i'll be rating around so 26 to 30 and then we'll see how that goes. So my PB in the 5K is 1540, but that was a few years ago now, and all the 5Ks since then have been just below 16 minutes. So for me, I want to be able to this year get close to that PB once again, but right now we're gonna recover, rest a little bit, and then get some food later on, because remember, food is fuel. <laughs> And we've made it back to the crew room after some lovely rest and recovery. We've got some delicious gnocchi for lunch with a Robson inspired initiative of vegetarian Wednesdays so we can do fish Fridays. So gnocchi again, I actually had gnocchi for dinner last night of a delicious new recipe. Hopefully the recipe book will be out soon. But we're going to continue discussing prepping for specifically 5Ks but overall prepping for air tests after we fuel up some more because remember food is fuel and we've made it out of the crew room and out of leander into the car park to head home for another day after some prep for today's or tomorrow's 5k so a little bit more of why you should do some prep and why it's good well there's another chance to visualize what you want to do so if you've got a 5k like I have tomorrow, or whatever the test distance is, you can set the monitor up for that distance, say for, as I put the camera down, so say for the 5k, you can put the monitor set up to 5k and say you're doing a k as prep or 500 or 750 or 2k as prep for the 5k. You set the monitor up for 5k and say you want to do practice the first k. So set the monitor up, start, and then do the first K, and you see the numbers. So instead of seeing just zero to a K or a K down to zero, you see 5K down to 4K like you would in the actual 5K. And then you can actually visualize, okay, I'm going through the 5K itself, and I'm going through the same numbers that I'll actually see in the actual test rather than the numbers, the actual distance numbers like doing a 1K prep piece, you're just gonna see 1K to zero. You're not gonna see 5K to 4K to 3K to 2K, etc. So a little bit of visualization there improves you get, hello Harry, gives you a little bit more of that sort of mental capacity and mental strength to know that. So you went through 4,500 meters on the prep piece at this split, at this rate, at this speed, then it felt like this. So then when you get to the actual piece and you have the right rate, you have the right split, and you have and you're feeling in the same way, you know you're, or you should know you're in a good place. But I think the biggest thing for prepping, for prepping for any piece is the planning behind it. So you should generally know how the piece is going to go if you've done enough of them, if you've done enough prep. So you'll know how you feel before the test. What does that mean for the test itself? Also, how do you feel during the test itself? So going through halfway, 
Should you be just hanging on? Are you that type of person that you figure out, okay, I can't really drop the split by a lot at the end, so I'm gonna just sort of flat pace it. Are you more of a negative split person? So you start a little bit higher and then work the average down the whole way through split. Or do you want to positive split so you start really, really hard and then just hold on but the gradual increase or slowing down of the split as an option too. But doing prep and doing all of that over time can really help you figure out what's best for you. So tomorrow with our 5K, what I'm going to do is hopefully a negative split. So I've got my, done a couple of um, prep pieces today and I've done a few 5Ks so I know where my score is and I know where my PB is and I know what my score for my last 5K was. So we, I'm going off of slower than my PB. So PB, like I said earlier, is 15.40 and the uh, score I want to get is sort of between 16 minutes and 16.10. So fingers crossed for that. And I'll know, I know how I feel now and I know how I want to feel tomorrow and I know how I want to warm up, etc. Which is also a big thing. Doing some prep lets you sort of feel out how you want to warm up. But that will be tomorrow and again, so like using yesterday's sort of advice that I talked about, not letting sort of nerves get too much and using the nerves themselves as a positive and using the opportunity that we get to do the test pieces. So I get to do a 5K tomorrow that we don't often do, we don't often test. So you get into the test environment and try and get the best out yourself and show yourself what you can do and show everyone else what you can do and then use that as a base. So at the start of the season, it's an awesome thing, an awesome thing to have, have that score that you can work off for the rest of the season and hopefully improve that. But that will be it for today's episode, Yam Squad. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video about sort of 5K or just any, the, the same things apply for any sort of erg test or any, any test in general, whether it's a race or on an erg just doing some testing. But as always, Yam Squad, remember to subscribe if you haven't already, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Fingers crossed for the 5K.